感兴趣，对这个东西<笑>没有关系。因为神他是一个，呃，就是我讲那么一个一个问题，你就应该明白，就是在《素问》里面有一篇呢，他专门就回答您这个问题，他叫“士气调神大”。There is in the classic of Chinese medicine called the Huangdi Neijing Su Wen, the Yellow Emperor's classic of medicine is split into two parts. One of them is called the Su Wen, the simple questions, and the second chapter thereof is called the Si Qi Tiao Shen Da Lun, which is how to adjust the spirit Shen during the four seasons, which could also be the four seasons of the day, of course. Uh, is the direct answer to this question. Well, 这就是春天的养神的方法，因为因为他神呢、啊，呃，您的您讲的这个神呢，有一点，呃，可能有一点比较比较 close close close， 就是比较窄。那么实际上，他神他是无处不在的，因为神他是生命的主宰嘛，他新君主之官，神命出焉，所以呢，他实际上你在任何一个时候。你只要符合这个天道，它就是养生。就春天你就养生，它就是养生；夏天你养长，养好了长，它就是养生；秋天你养好了收，它就是养生；冬天你养好了藏，它就是养生。所以它并不是说一定是要在某一个点上才是养生，它不是，它随时都可以养生。Every time during the year, every time during the day, you nourish the spirit. If you respect the energetics of that moment, so we were talking yesterday about the true meaning of alchemy, which is as above, so below. Microcosm is a reflection of the macrocosm. So if you live in accordance with the macrocosm energetics, you are naturally nourishing the spirit because the spirit, from a Taoist perspective, or all. Perspectives of Chinese、uh, medical spirituality, let's call it that, is something that governs everything, that makes everything move. So if you move in accordance with it, because the movements of Shen are expressed in nature、uh, through the phenomena in nature. When the sun rises, it means the Shen is in a state of growth and expansion. So if you nourish. Everything in springtime, as well as sunrise time, that is giving birth, that is growing upward and outward,、uh, both in your body as well as in your heart,、uh, then you're nourishing the spirit because you're following nature's、uh, the, the 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 state in which nature's shen is in at the moment. The summer state is a state of expansion. So if you nourish And follow the state of expansion in nature during high noon time during the day, and summer time、uh, during the year. Then you nourish Shen because you—that is the state that the spirit is in at that time of day or that time of year. The energetic state that the spirit is in in the fall time or at sunset time, which is the energetic equivalent during the day, is Shou, which means contraction. Uh, harvest, going inward. So if you nourish, going inward、uh, during that time, then you are nourishing the spirit because you're following how the spirit behaves in nature. That is why it's better to do movements in the morning, moving the energy up and out, and quiet in the evening, moving the energy in. And then last but not least, midnight time. And its energetic equivalent, winter during the year, is tang, which means storage. So if you nourish, if you everything you think, everything you do, 
uh, everything you say or not say to promote storage, you are nourishing Shen, you're nourishing spirit.神在天为风在地为木so that is uh, what um, Shufu was talking about yesterday. There's another uh, saying in the Neijing where it says that the Shen is fire in the heavens and heat on the earth. It's um, um, wind, uh, it is wood in the heavens and wind on the earth. It's um, uh, earth in the heavens and dampness on the earth, uh, etc. Or it's, it's um, uh, cold in the heavens and water on the earth. So there is this relationship of, so if you, at different times of the year, when a specific energy climatically predominates, if you nourish that, that element, either through food or through thought or through meditation or through herbs or through acupuncture, that corresponds to that energy that is called dryness or that is called dampness or that is called cold or that is called heat, you are nourishing spirit. Because those are manifesta manifestations of spirit that then get categorized in terms of the five elements or in terms of the six confirmations of the six climate patterns.